I just wanted to show you guys my letter board for this part of the holiday season. Santa saw your Instagram pics. You're getting a Bible. Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So today I'm excited to be sharing with you a clean and decorate with me for Christmas. Typically I like to wait until after Thanksgiving to decorate for Christmas, especially if I'm hosting at my house. That way I can leave my Thanksgiving decorations up and then I like to decorate for Christmas the day after. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you stick around and join us for Vlogmas this year. I'm super excited to be posting a video every day in December. I will have a link to my Vlogmas 2019 playlist in the description box below. There's my dog barking <laughs> if you need to catch up on any of the videos. So let me share with you what I'm planning on doing today. It is eight o'clock in the morning and yesterday was actually Thanksgiving. So we had, uh, we hosted, you guys would have already seen that video on the first day of Vlogmas actually. And I have uh, quite a bit of a mess <laughs> to clean up. I want to put away my fall decorations and get my Christmas tree and all my decorations out of the basement, bring those up. I also got some new decorations this year, not very many. Um, I just kind of wanted to supplement what I already had. So I'll show you those, but let me show you this morning what we're working with. So overall the kitchen really doesn't look too bad. Mostly the island is cleared off, but I do need to uh, wipe it down and give it a good scrub. We have our beverage station left over here from last evening, so uh, I need to dump out this galvanized tub and have a bottle of wine I need to get back in the refrigerator and some soda I need to get back in the refrigerator. Over here are some dishes that I already cleaned last night. I actually ran three <laughs> loads of dishes in the dishwasher last night and I still have more to do which is fine I love hosting Thanksgiving um, so I have my platter my instant pot that I need to put away this was the rack for the turkey roasting pan I need to put away uh, my electric roaster the insert I still need to wash that's huge and hard to wash but we'll get it done uh, my stock pot my roasting pan that I had some of the leftover turkey stock in I need to wash my beverage dispenser my turkey roasting pan, all of my pie plates, miscellaneous dishes, those are clean. And then I have a load in the dishwasher that need to be put away as well. So that's what we're working with in the kitchen. Uh, I might wait until later to do the floors. They don't look too bad actually. Okay, let's let Murphy in since he's barking. Um, let me turn on some lights. So I do have a fall wreath here on my pantry that will get put away. Um, and then I do have a wreath on the front door. That will get switched out for a holiday wreath. Um, I actually already put my um, Christmas mat out. I got that at Aldi. And then this front table, I always try to decorate for the season. So right now you can see that it has fall decor on it. So that needs to go away and it will be redecorated for Christmas. And then in the living room here, Murphy, get down. Um, you can see Connor was busy making a little fort last night. So... I need to get those blankets put away and he even had me make a little sign for him for his fort those only boys allowed <laughs> and then I just did my mantle super simply for fall so it just has a leaf garland and some pumpkins on it um, <clears throat> if I have enough decor I might put some out on these bookcases over here and sort of rearrange this stuff I'm not sure yet so uh, those are the plans for today. I do need to run to the store this morning to grab some batteries, which I think I'm gonna do first before I get started cleaning. We have no batteries in our house right now and some of my lights um, for my garland and stuff take batteries. So, good God, he is just so hyper this morning. All right, come along with me. Let's get her done.
so I got my, uh, or Connor's little blanket fort cleared up there, and uh, I'm out now. I'm just gonna run to Walmart and get the stuff I need for today. Uh, I actually just drove by Walmart and it doesn't look that busy, which is surprising, but you know, Black Friday starts on like Thanksgiving now, which is ridiculous, but um, there's not that many people there. So I went to Starbucks, I got this cute little mug. I um, always get a holiday ornament from them. That's usually the ornament that I buy for myself every year for my collection. But I also like to get their holiday mugs and I thought this one was really cute and it's like really short and wide. So you could use it for soup also. I got some of my ham and egg bites and a cold brew. So I'm gonna run to Walmart and get my stuff and then we can go home and get started. All right, so let me show you what I got at Walmart. Um, so I picked up some Finnish dishwasher tablets because we were totally out of those. I actually had to have Adam's mom bring me a couple yesterday. <laughs> because uh, I was out and I had a lot of dishes to do. I need to go to Costco. I keep saying that. That's where I normally get them. I got some quart size bags. I was out of those. Some milk. Uh, I got this two pack of Christmas towels. I thought I could put one of these in the bathroom down here, downstairs, um, for Christmas. And then I bought another one of these chargers. So this is $25 at Walmart. It's an Anchor Power Bank. Um, so it's a portable charger, but the nice thing about this is that it also has a plug-in. So you can use it as both a charger and a portable charger, um, which is great for travel. I bought one of these a couple of months ago, and I've taken it with me on all my work trips, and it's indispensable, in my opinion. Um, I got some Deluxe White American Slices. Um, I don't know, I saw someone have these on a video, and I was like, oh, it sounds good, I'm going to get some. I got one of these uh, fish spatulas uh, for my sister for a Christmas gift. So I wanted to get some Bath and Body Works candles before I filmed this decorating video, but I just didn't get around to it. Um, so I got these at Walmart. So they have Woodwick candles now at Walmart, which are um, kind of different because they make the crackling sound when they burn, uh, which is kind of nice. So this one is a cinnamon chai. And then I got this one for the bathroom down here. This is just a Glade apple cider candle. It smells really good. And then for the bathroom down here, I got some sort of like holiday uh, air freshener. Evergreen, icy evergreen forest. And then I'm going to decorate today also this tiered tray that I have over here in like a holiday theme. And so I was trying to get some more like little things to put on that. This is just a little snowman mug. I think it was like $2.00. Uh, I got some batteries because we were totally out of all batteries. I got some laundry detergent. I'm just using the Great Value brand. I bought this before. It's just like Gain, um, except it's way cheaper. And then I was so excited when I saw this. It's beautiful. Um, it was only $18. It is beautiful. Okay. It's beautiful. Like, like the fact that Walmart sells something like this is awesome, I think. Um, I wouldn't describe it as beautiful. You're beautiful. Aw, I. This is slightly yeah, less beautiful Christmas than me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so I think I'm gonna hang this in our entryway. Um, it's it's big, and I can't believe it was only 18 bucks, and it's very pretty. You should have bought two. They had red ones too. Oh. Um. Anyway, I think it chipped here when I put it in the back of my SUV, so I'll probably have to paint that over, but. Okay, that's what I got. I'm gonna start cleaning up these dishes. Adam actually emptied out the ice tub for me, so thanks for doing that. And I'm gonna get started on this mess.
right, so I got a bunch of dishes hand washed and the pans that I need to soak are in here, the roasting pan that I roasted the turkey in and then my instant pot insert because I had mashed potatoes. And then I still need to wash the electric roaster which had the ham in it. So I honestly hate washing this because um, <laughs> it's so big and bulky. But when we built this house, I knew for sure that I wanted a large, like one basin sink like this just for that purpose so I could wash things like that. So that makes it a lot easier. Um, I just quick wiped off my stove. I didn't do like a deep clean of it or anything and wiped off the back with some stainless steel wipes and I lit my uh, cinnamon chive woodwick candle. And the next thing I'm gonna do is start putting like the roaster and my instant pot and everything back in the pantry. I went ahead and wiped down my counters on this side anyway. Um, I am going to get out my holiday Mrs. Myers scents. So I've been using the acorn spice, which is more of a fall scent. And so I think I am going to use the Iowa pine scent, which I really like. Um, these are, I think, all of the holiday scents from Mrs. Myers that I get from Grove. So I have the orange clove left over from last year but I don't have any of the dish soap left, so I'm gonna save that and maybe see if I can order some more. Um, and then I have some of the peppermint scent too. These two are my favorite, the peppermint and the Iowa pine. So I think I'm gonna use this one first though. So um, I do have a uh, link for you guys to get a free set of Mrs. Myers with your first Grove purchase of $20. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave it in the description box below. But I always like changing these out with the seasons. I know it probably sounds kind of dorky, but um, I think it's fun. So, and then I had this like kind of spring and summer tray that I'm gonna wash and find somewhere else to put that. And then I'm just using one of the regular white ones for the Christmas season. We've collected all of the fall decor, Connor helped me, in a laundry basket. And I'm just gonna take this down to the basement and pack it up. Uh, you can see that I didn't have very much. It's just this laundry basket. So. Uh, this is going to get put away, and then we'll start bringing the Christmas things up. All right, so we're down here in the basement. Uh, Adam and Connor helped me carry all of the Christmas stuff up. That's just the Christmas tree box that our big tree was in. So that's upstairs, and I packed away the fall decorations. I probably need to get some wreath storage. And then that tree, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, or if I'm going to use it this year. I usually put it out on the porch, but sometimes it blows over, and... Yeah, I don't know. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna bring that upstairs yet. All right, so here's the tree. The tree's gonna go over there, uh, which is where we had it last year, because I like it to be visible from the front window. So Adam's gonna put that together, and then uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and get the rest of, the man's gonna put it together, and then I have to go upstairs and get the rest of the decor. So this is everything, and this one has to take a bath. Um, so all of the ornaments and stockings and everything are in these uh, four four boxes. We'll get it out, okay? Just patience. I'm gonna put the ornaments. You, you can. Yeah, let's take a bath. So I'm upstairs, and I have some stuff here that I purchased from Joanne Crafts. So I'm just gonna load this stuff up into this basket, so I can take it downstairs. Um, I know there are like other people here on YouTube. I'm sorry, I had to take my sweatshirt off. I was so hot. <laughs> uh, there are other people here on YouTube that like decorate their whole house for Christmas, like decorate their bedrooms and stuff like that. I'm just, I don't, I don't really get into that kind of stuff um, because then it's just more work to take all that down <laughs> at the end of the season. But I did purchase a small tree. I think it was last year after Christmas. Menards had it on sale for like, it was like $10 shipped. And I want to say it was like a four or five foot pre-lit tree. So I'm thinking possibly about putting one upstairs somewhere, maybe in this room in my office, since this room faces 
well this room has a lot of windows there's three windows that face the back of the house and then there's three windows that face the front of the house but I thought it might be pretty to have it in front of that window yes this room needs cleaned up um, which I'm hoping to do today and tomorrow but anyway I'm gonna gather this stuff up and then we'll head down and get to Okay, so I have to say, for someone who really doesn't know how to arrange flowers, that actually turned out pretty decent. Uh, Adam let me borrow his wire cutters because these stems have wire in them. Obviously, they're flexible. Um, so I got all these at Joanne, but I think this turned out super pretty. I kind of just went through and picked what I liked. Um, and put it all together. I like how it has like the pine cones in here and the orange slices. It's just like very wintry without being too Christmassy. And then this little um, ring on the bottom is pretty too. So this is gonna go on our dining room table. I don't know, I think I have a star. All right, so Adam got the tree up and uh, I think the kids are gonna decorate it. We bought this last, no, a couple years ago, I think. Um, Cause the tree, yeah, the tree we had, be yeah, the tree we had before was uh, too small. <laughs> well, we put it in this house the first year, and we have nine foot ceilings, so it was like short. And I forget how tall this one is. I think it's an eight foot tree. Um, but yeah, we bought it at Menards, fifty percent off, like in January. So. I've never had a pre-lit tree before this one. Okay, so here's one box with ornaments. I think I might have another box, like a smaller box, I'm not sure. Um, so you guys can go ahead and put these on if you want, the tree, and then um, I'll kind of spread them out so some of them are up higher, or you can use the ladder. I don't remember how to put these on. Okay, well, you'll figure it out, I'm sure. Have our ornaments come for this year yet? Connor's did and Daddy's did, but yours is personalized, so it hasn't come yet. Mm -hmm. So anyway, be careful because some of these are breakable, like especially these glass balls are breakable. Okay. Will it come back these? for Christmas? No, it'll come before Christmas. I'm freaking hot okay real talk I watch a lot of YouTube like a lot of YouTube and I watch cleaning videos like semi often these women that can do cleaning videos wearing like sweaters with their hair down they are like the real MVPs I do like one thing in my house and I'm sweating to death and it doesn't people are gonna be like oh you're overweight no uh, yeah I'm overweight it doesn't matter if I'm overweight skinny I've been a lot of things in my life I've always been hot anywho uh, so I had to change into a tank top because I'm hot and now I'm standing out here and it's 32 degrees and it feels really good But <laughs> I want to show you our wreath So this is the wreath that we've been using for quite a while on our front door and it's very pretty uh, We actually got it because um, Adam's grandpa actually passed away around Christmas time one year. This was many years ago I think it was actually when I was pregnant with Kira and this was one of the gifts that someone brought to the funeral um, and Adam and I got to take it home and we've been using it ever since so that's really special to us and then there is my welcome mat that I got at Aldi for $6.99 so I don't think I'm really gonna do much decoration on my front porch but I did want to show you guys the wreath 
Okay, so this is the wreath I always put on our pantry door. And this wreath actually is the very first wreath that I bought when Adam and I lived together in an apartment. I remember I bought this at, <laughs> I bought this at Hobby Lobby and I was so proud to have like a front door on our little townhouse apartment to put a wreath on that was in, I'm trying to think what year that was, 2002 maybe? So I'll never get rid of this wreath because it's like sentimental to me. Um, but the bow, I don't even remember why I got this at. I feel like I got it at Walmart one year just because it was, um, the other one was kind of ratty, but that's where that wreath is from. Next, I think I'm going to work on the front table while the kids are decorating, finishing putting the ornaments on the tree. So I think what I'm going to do is take that sign down and put the Merry Christmas sign up. And then I'm going to use some of my Christmas decorations to Christmas this area up. All right, so here's how my little front entry table turned out and my little Merry Christmas. So um, I just use command hooks to hang this up. And then you can see up there, the nails are where my regular welcome sign is before. But I don't know, I don't really wanna take the nails out of the wall because obviously I wanna hang that back up when Christmas is over. So I'm just leaving it like that. I think when you walk in, you can't even really see them. It just says Merry Christmas, but I really like that sign. So. Here I have this little sign that says deck the halls. I have no idea where I got this. I feel like probably Hobby Lobby. It's I've had it for years and years. And then here's a picture of Connor. He made this in preschool. He put his little thumbprints around for the lights. And then I have a few bottle brush trees. This is a Christmas sign that I got at the Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago. Um, this star, I cannot remember where I got it. I feel like maybe Joanne's with the little four in the middle. I had that custom made off of Etsy because that we have four people in our family so that's always up here. And then this little light up wood tree I got in the gift shop at work a couple years ago. And then I have a little Santa mug with another tree in it. And then I have a couple of my Christmas albums out here. So some years I do December Daily um, which is basically a scrapbook and you do um, one photo a day for the month of December. So this one is actually from 2010 when Kira was like one year old. Um, and so that's kind of nice to look at. And then this one is from 2017, which is the first year that we moved into this house. So I have others upstairs, but I don't always put them all out at Christmas every year. And I don't always do one every year. Some years I get behind and I finish them later, but I would just keep um, these with our Christmas decorations. So that I can get them out um, and display them at Christmas time. Okay, and then everyone is making fun of me for this red door that I got at Joanne, but I think it's very. Well, your is Kira's making fun of me for the red door I got at Joanne, but I think it's pretty, and I'm just gonna have it up for Christmas, and then I'll put it away and I'll bring it out next year. So uh, I don't know. I just thought it was very cute, and we have a red door on our house, um, so I thought it was neat. So anyway, I just used the existing, you know, hardware that was already on the wall from the picture that was there, which is this one over here, which I'll put in the closet until after Christmas, this one. Um, actually, I have this that I bought, and I kind of want to hang this up, but I might have to have Adam help me because it needs to. Um, oh my God. But anyway, I hung this up, and it's, I don't know, I like it for Christmas. It's nice and festive. Very happy with how the mantle turned out. Uh, this is kind of how I had it last year, except I did get this new Happy Holidays sign, and I had it in my head that this is how I wanted it set up, and it actually turned out like that, which is always nice. So this garland, I don't even know where it's from. It's so old, um, but it fits perfectly on the mantle. And then I have two strands of LED lights. These are stars and these are just red plain lights. Um, I think the stocking hangers are from Walmart. And then I actually got these custom like personalized stockings last year from um, Pottery Barn. 
so we didn't have any proper ones so I can link these down below but they're really neat and obviously they'll last me for a very long time so I'm happy with how that turned out and Kira is just finishing decorating oh and Murphy's stocking is over there I almost said hunter oh um, Kira's finishing decorating the tree. As you can see, we have a very uh, eclectic tree, and that's how I like it. I know that some people do like theme trees, or they do like, you know, color themes. I don't do any of that. In fact, I hardly really have any like ball ornaments. I mean, I have little ones or whatever, but most of them are just ornaments that we've collected over the years, and that's how I like it to be. Alright, so I don't really usually decorate the bathroom very much, but I'll just show you what I did. So I put out my little candle and a bottle brush tree, and then I decided to put the Mrs. Myers peppermint scent in here since it's a holiday scent. I put up one of the kids' little stained glass things that they did last year, and my Christmas towel, and my little evergreen forest spray. Okay, so I bought these two wreaths at Joanne this year because I wanted to do this to my kitchen cabinets. And I've had this vision in my head ever since I had white kitchen cabinets. Uh, but basically, you just take a plain green wreath, and these were on sale like 60% off at Joanne's. I think they were literally like $5 each or something like that. And then I bought some holiday ribbon, and you just put a command hook on the other side of the cabinet, but you put it upside down, and then you hang the ribbon through it and they hang this way, so I think it looks really pretty. But I'm thinking about if I wanna put any anywhere else. I don't know if they still have some more at Joanne. I think it would be fun to maybe put some over on these cabinets. You have to pick cabinets that are like wide enough. Um, and like maybe over here above the desk, those would be wide enough too. So I don't know, I thought it turned out cute. So we'll see if I can find some more or whether I just leave it for this year. So here are all my little knick-knacky things. Um, I think what I'm going to do is decorate my tier tray first, and then anything that's left over will go on those two shelves over there. So I have quite a few um, bottle, bush, bottle brush trees that I've collected over the years. The kids got this snowman nesting doll thing one year. I can't remember where they got it from. I have a collection of Santa mugs. I think Kira or Connor made this one year in school, this little pine cone tree. Um, these were from Joanne, these, these wooden stars. And then I have a flameless candle in here. This um, was actually from Walmart last year. And then I have my little wallflower plug, my winter one from Bath and Body Works. And that's not Christmas. And this is a little, um, ornament that I picked up at Joanne that I thought would be cute on my tear tray and a little snowman mug. This nativity set my grandparents got for me in 1987. <laughs> so I would have been four years old. Um, I've kept it all this time and it's very sweet and I'll probably set it up on the shelf. And then this is a wooden uh, sort of cutout nativity that my mom gave me. So I'm going to start working on this. I feel like I'm in the home stretch though, and it's 1.30, so I feel like I'm making good time today.
so let me show you how my little tiered tray turned out here. So I just put three bottle brush, bottle brush trees in the top with this jolly sign. I actually got this from a local coffee shop. I thought it was super cute. And I put my ornament, some other trees, a Santa mug. This has a flameless candle and it. it's actually from the Dollar Tree. I got it a long time ago. And this is a Ray Dunn candle, another Santa mug. This is from Joanne. Um, I have a Starbucks mug that I got several years ago. And then I put my essential oils in here. I really don't use them all that often, but sometimes I do in the kitchen with my diffuser. And then my sister got me this little cow from uh, the Pioneer Woman Mercantile one year when she went out there. So I like keeping that in there. All right, so I have my little snowflake wallflower. I need to get some more of these. I don't really have very many for the season. So I always plug it in here in the dining room. And then I'll show you the shelving decorations that I came up with. So I just left these on top of here. Um, these bookcases are from Target. They're pretty inexpensive. I got them when we um, moved into the house because I felt like I needed something here in the dining room. But these, I believe, were either from TJ Maxx or Home Goods. They're just like fake plants that I leave on top of there. And then on this shelf, I got this sign actually from the floral, floral department at Hy-Vee. Um, I really like the quote on that, so I put it there. And then these rose petals are actually from my bouquet at our wedding. Um, and I got this Ray Dunn decanter like years ago also at TJ Maxx. And so I transferred those into there. And then I have a little wedding picture of Adam and I. And then that star that I got at Joanne. So none of this is very like overly Christmassy, but I just put a few things. And then this, like I said, was from Walmart. Last year I have a flame flameless candle in there he sees a squirrel um, and then my nativity and then down here I just left this eat sign up I do not remember I think that fake plant was from Walmart and then a Santa mug and then I have some coat books down there and then on this one I have the same thing at the top um, there's not very much Christmas stuff over here these were from Target this was from I don't know where this welcome home sign was from Joanne I think then there's my little nativity. This is the one from 1987. <laughs> and then this little cake stand, I don't know what you call this, a cake stand or a tear? I think I got that at Joanne. And then my grandma gave me all these doilies. And then I have a snowman mug. That one's from Walmart that I got today. These are all older stuff. This wooden star. Um, I had this hanging up in our kitchen at our old house. And I can't remember where it's from, maybe Hobby Lobby. That's a Ray Dunn piece. And then this Speak Your Kind is a mug from Starbucks. And then I just have more Ray Dunn stuff on these two shelves. So not super Christmassy, but I did have a chance to put some of my stuff up. And then Adam actually got me this for our anniversary. Wait, did you get yes. that for my birthday or anniversary? anniversary? Yeah, he got me that for our anniversary. So it's a custom made canvas. So it says, hello, will you, I do. So. There's like a map there and it's like the date and like where we met and where um, Adam asked me to marry him and the date and then the day we got married and the map of that. So that was very sweet and I hung out up here in the dining room. All right, so it's 2.30, I'm finishing up the last of my dishes. It's always my goal in life to have to hand wash as few dishes as possible, so I really tried to put my uh, roaster, my electric roaster insert in the bottom rack of the dishwasher and it would not fit. It was like just a little bit too big. But I did get the turkey roasting pan in my Instant Pot insert in the bottom of there, so that's good. And then on the top, I fit the lid of the roaster. So this will be the last load of Thanksgiving dishes that I have to run through the dishwasher and then I'm just going to scrub this up and I put the rest of the clean dishes away and we don't have any dishes from lunch because we ordered pizza. All right so I have a Christmas tree in my kitchen however it's not going to stay in here. This is the first year I'm lighting this up so I wanted to make sure that it would light up and I said before that I ordered this through Menards and I think that's where it was from but I can't remember for sure. 
Um, I know it was after Christmas and it was like literally 10 or $15 shipped and it's a six and a half foot tree. I'm going to put this upstairs in my office and I'm going to decorate it with my Starbucks ornaments. So now I have to haul this up there. I wanted to put it together down here and make sure it worked <laughs> before I hauled it upstairs. But, um, you know, you can tell it's a cheap tree. It's not like super full. I just spent quite a bit of time fluffing it. Um, but I mean, it, it's, it looks, honestly, for, for $15, I think it's a decent tree for sure. All right, so I need to clean up this room a little bit. And yes, I have a of laundry to fold, but I'm gonna do that right now. But I think the, um, that tree looks really nice in here. So I brought up some extra ornaments, um, all of my Starbucks ornaments, and some extra ones from downstairs. So I'm gonna get started working on folding this laundry and decorating that tree, and I'll show you how it turns out. All right, so I got all of my laundry folded, and um, I had some extra like ball ornaments from downstairs that I put on the tree up here. Um, and so now I'm going to work on putting my Starbucks ornaments out, and I'll talk more about this in my holiday traditions video um, during this month in Vlogmas, but I do get myself a Starbucks ornament every year, and I was anxious to count and see how many I have this year. Um, so I'll let you know once I dig them all out, but this is the one that I picked up this year. And if you're going to get these, I would say, make sure that you grab them like as soon as you see them because they do sell out fast. If you guys collect these as well or collect any like annual ornaments, I would love to hear about them. Um, I do also collect, um, Hallmark ornaments for my kids every year. Yeah, these, this is one of my favorite things every holiday season is getting these out and looking at them. All right, so here's my little tree in my office. I'm very excited to have this up here. I think it's going to be super cozy, and um, you're going to be able to see it, you know, from the front of the house, and our Christmas tree downstairs is actually in the opposite corner on the lower level, so hopefully that'll look nice. I'm going to actually <laughs> walk out to the road after it gets dark and see if I can see um, how it looks. All right, so it is quarter after seven. We are in the home stretch for today. Uh, we had sort of a mishmash for dinner. We just kind of ate leftovers and soup and sandwiches and stuff because we had so much leftover from yesterday. So I'm putting the last load of dishes in the dishwasher. Uh, my roasting pan is clean. I am pleasantly surprised at how clean that came out from the dishwasher. I love my dishwasher, it's a Bosch. I've seen some people that pre-wash their dishes before going into the dishwasher. I never do that, and my dishwasher is legit 100% cleans everything. It's awesome. Um, and then I clean my Instant Pot, all this stuff I need to put away. And then the rest of my kitchen is pretty darn clean. So I'm excited about that. So um, I think at some point I'm going to give you a final tour of all the uh, Christmas decorations I put up today <laughs> and then that'll be it for this video all right so it is actually the next morning but I'm going to show you guys what all we got done yesterday uh, so I got my new woodwick candle from Walmart I'm really liking that I've got my holiday wreaths up here in the kitchen might get some more for some other cabinets if I get the chance to do that my tiered tray um, I think it needs maybe a little bit more greenery um, but for now, I'm happy with how it turned out. And then here in the, I still have some boxes I need to take back downstairs. I've got my wreath here and my little red door, which I'm loving that. Super cute. If you guys have questions on where I got anything that I didn't mention, or if you get down, um, let me know and I'll try to answer those. Um, here is my winter... Uh, Christmas floral arrangement. I'm super happy with how that turned out. If I didn't mention this candle, it's the new Winter Woods candle from Grove Collaborative. It smells really good. And then my shelves over here. Sorry about my dog. <laughs> He's excited. Got my nativity over here. And then um, this side over here with the flameless candle and the star. And then nativity. I thought about putting some Christmas lights on my plants um, but I need to get some more like LED ones that are like light in weight you know because you can't put this is not sturdy enough to put regular Christmas lights on it 
I love, love how the mantle turned out this year. I'm so happy with it. Um, it's very simple, but I like the addition of that Happy Holidays sign from Joanne and the lights and the stockings. And then I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but we always just hang Murphy's little stocking over here. And then usually his bed is over there, which we had to move because we had to move the chest out of that corner so the Christmas tree could be over there. Um, and I don't think I talked about this yesterday. So I keep all of our Christmas books in a basket. And then I just take this up and downstairs every season. Um, so those are all of our kids Christmas books that they've gotten through the years. And then the tree, it's just very obviously plain. Um, I do have a gold tree skirt, which I got from, I feel like I got that from Joanne also many years ago. Um, and like I said, I don't do a theme with my tree really. It's just white lights and then um, a collection of ornaments that we've gathered through the years. In my opinion, it's the best uh, way to do a Christmas tree just because I love sort of seeing all the little sentimental ornaments like I'll show some of them to you guys so like this is one Connor made in preschool <laughs> it's like a little snow globe with a picture of him um, this is the Patrick Mahomes ornament I got Adam this year um, what else here is some um, when I was on the Bella Boulevard design team for scrapbooking Stephanie would always send us an ornament each year for Christmas so I have a collection of those Kira has all of her Hallmark keepsake ornaments from throughout the years there's Connor's first ornament from when he was a baby um, and then here's one that Kira made when she was three a little popsicle stick snowman and Connor made this little candy cane and then Adam's grandma actually um, had crocheted all of these little um, snowflake ornaments so I always try to put some of those on our tree sorry it's not focusing and then this is Kira's from last year I think it's Dorothy from Wizard of Oz and she sings it doesn't want to focus anyway I like to get the ones that sing um, and then this ornament was from I think oh yeah Kira's swim coach one year it's a little felt fish so Anyway, I'm not going to go through all of them, but, uh, and then that tree topper actually is a tree topper that I got from Target when Adam and I first lived together in our first apartment. So again, it's not very fancy. It was like $10, $10 from Target many, many years ago, but it's sentimental to me. So I just love it. And then I got this pillow, um, from Joanne. I, I liked it cause it's like a sweater material. And then I did want to order some pillow covers for my regular pillows. I might still do that, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. And then last but not least, our little front table here with the Merry Christmas sign. Um, and I already told you guys where all of this stuff is from. So yeah, I think it turned out really pretty this year. Um, I think that next year I might add to my collection a little bit more. So I have a, little, a few more things to fill out my tiered tray in those shelves. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this uh, clean and decorate for the holiday with me video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you are enjoying Vlogmas so far. Um, I am obviously doing Vlogmas this year and so I will have a playlist to uh, my 2019 Vlogmas series in the description box below if you'd like to check that out or if you need to catch up on any of the videos. So I hope that you are having a great December so far and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!